Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Mickey Loomis joined the fun over at the NFL uh, meetings on Tuesday, met with reporters. Naturally, one of the things they asked him about was was moving on from Michael Thomas. Here's what he said. You guys also uh, moved on from Michael Thomas or back into an end? Yeah, you know, we'll see where that ends up. Uh, could you expand on what you meant by we'll see where that ends up with Thomas? Yeah, Is that no. <laughs> what he said was what I said. Oh, I guess it's like... Is that door still open for you guys? Or yeah, is that... again, I, I've already said, I've already commented on that, so I don't want any more comments on it. What does that mean? What? We'll see where the... Hey, at least he made progress and he wasn't smacking on gum this time. Did I hear him right? He's asked about Michael Thomas and he says, we'll see where that ends up? I can't do an end. Yeah, you know, we'll but... see where that ends up. And was very clearly asked, is the door open for him returning? And he wouldn't answer. I, I get it. Mickey Loomis has made made it his uh his his professional practice when cameras are and microphones are in front of his face to not say anything. But sometimes there is a very clear line, like this delineation point where you say, okay. We've moved on from Michael Thomas, and it's okay to say that. Like, you can say Michael Thomas was a great player for us. He'll be in the Saints Hall of Fame one day. We had to make a decision collectively, and we know Mike's going to do great wherever he goes from here. You can you can say that. Instead, what Mickey Loomis said was this. I can't do an end. Yeah, you know, we'll see where that ends up. Is he, is he saying the door is open for Michael Thomas? Or like... The same Michael Thomas that teed off on Derek Carr during a game on Twitter. The same Michael Thomas that wrecked Dennis Allen in the front office that basically said, hey, when Sean Payton was here, I wasn't a problem. Now this guy, the same, Den the same Michael Thomas that goes goes on a, a Twitter rant against Jeff Duncan, the guy that's always the guy that ghosted your organization when he was injured? Like that guy? You can't slam the door on that guy? I'm stunned by this, man. Like the thing that continues to floor me about Mickey Loomis is that there is just zero accountability. And that's the problem with this or that is if i'm looking for one overarching theme okay what where is all of this distress rooted it's in the fact that there is no accountability because tom benson is is passed gail benson inherited the team and i've told you before she does what any fan should want a team owner to do she's willing to spend money she hires people and she stays out of the way that's what you want Hire your people, trust them to do their job, give them the resources they need, get out of the way. But when they are failing, you need to get rid of them. The problem is Mickey Loomis is in the will. Like, he, he's the kid that knows he's the heir to the throne. The entire family fortune is coming his way. And he's got no accountability. That's Mickey Loomis right now. So he's not accountable to anyone or anything. So he keeps saying stupid stuff like that. <laughs> Are you moving on from Michael Thomas? I don't know. Yeah, you know, we'll see where that ends up. Yeah, we'll see where that ends up. I remember watching this. You remember that show, Coach? It's an old show. With uh, what was the actor's name? It was Hayden Hayden Fox? Was his name? Was the coach? Yeah. You know, Craig. I, uh, I know what show you're talking about. Craig T. Nelson. Yes. I know. Thank you. Thank you for validating my. Uh, you're welcome. My factual answer. 
I remember in that shit. This is an old reference. All right, a lot of y'all ain't gonna remember this. That's fine. And this is a random reference. Guy coached a fictional place. It was Minnesota State, uh, where he coached. He was a college coach. He was a great coach, and he got hired by the pros. He goes to coach the Orlando team in the pros. And uh, and the owner was. Uh, it was a similar situation. It was a woman who inherited the team uh, from her husband. Um, and it was Mona from Who's the Boss. Why do I remember this? <laughs> I don't know. Some of y'all are going, I remember that! And like half of you who are like under the age of 40 are going, man, you are old. I get it. Anyway, they have they have the draft, the NFL draft, and the owner, this lady, trades their first or the number one overall pick. It was I think it was Jerry Jones actually was in the show. She trades the number one overall pick like for some horses and farmland. Like without him knowing that she did it. Um, that's what this feels like. Like Mickey Loomis can do whatever he wants. He can go trade, he can go trade, let's go trade the first round pick for for like for some thoroughbreds. What are they doing to my team? What what are they doing to my favorite team? The inmates are running the asylum. It's a definition of it. This is driving me bonkers. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.